here at Pioneer Square. We're gonna walk up another block or so. We are on 6th, and we're going to Dinolandia, which I'm extremely excited for. Long overdue, and that's where we're heading now. Just got the walk signal to go. All right, we are here to the entrance of Dinolandia, Mike Bennett, Cartoon Dinosaur Land. I'm really excited. This is gonna be really awesome. Wow, right from the get-go, you walk in. And this is gonna be super fun. We do ask you to mask up, and now we're gonna pay. All right, just paid. And we are stoked. Marie's already made her way in. This is really cool so far, man. It's kind of like the... This guy. Oh my gosh, these are so cool. Mike, you are so creative. Pterodactyl. And I know he does some of these that actually will glow. I'm guessing those are the ones that kind of. Don't wait to get their selfie in front of the big official Dino Landia sign. <laughs> One that you see around town, the slow down turtle, but kind of skeleton version. <laughs> nice. Such a cool sign too here. Just kind of waiting for the attendant. We'll be with us shortly. Our guide here walking us in. Check this out too. It's a time machine. So cool. Oh wow. Back in time, about 15 million years into the past. Back Holy. before humans were on this planet, and when dinosaurs ruled the earth, a fungus grew to the size of skyscrapers. Uh, there's just going to be a couple of things to keep in mind. Uh, first off, if we could not touch anything, as touching things in the past could have serious ramifications on the future. A similar vibe is to keep our masks on for the same reason. Just a little bit of mouth wetness on the wrong fauna or flora could cause catastrophic future. Uh, which actually, I don't know if I would actually recognize if it was catastrophic because it would just be my timeline, you know? Yeah. But, <laughs> whatever. It's um, the butterfly effect. Exactly, yeah. Way too confusing for my pay grade. Um, if we can also remember to just keep moving forwards and never backwards, because life and time just likes to work that way. We don't really want to wrinkle it up too much. Um, so remember to take in everything and then just keep on moving forward at your awesome. own pace. Uh, whenever you are ready, you can feel free to press both of these buttons at the same time and it'll turn on the time machine. Hey, y'all have fun. Be Thank safe. Thank you so much. Okay. I'm kind of scared. I'll let Marie do it. Uh, I'm trying to vlog it at the same time. <laughs> oh, not that button. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. Back in time, you guys, this is... Much 
time, we're not. Our time is now overlapping with the times of every specimen in Dinolandia. The good news is that you will still get the unprecedented tour of the past. Mount Hood there in the back. Dang, oh, it's just bursting out of the wall. The water's just flowing. All the way down. That's awesome. And this guy could sure use it. <laughs> oh, I love it. so talented. Wow. Too funny, man. Whoa, baby dinosaur eggs. That is so neat. Looks like a little cavern. Whoa, little tiny dinosaur eggs. One's uh, already hatched. I'm gonna be careful. That is so uniquely cool. Wow, Mike, you and all your artists have really outdone yourselves. This is way cool. I love that you kind of just walked through here too with the little footprints. Uh <laughs> 
<laughs> That's cute. Little pineapple butt. <laughs> Oh, what? We are underwater. <laughs> Dang, that was rad, dude. I like that one the best. That was really cool, Mike. How neat is that, dude? <laughs> Just keeps getting cooler and cooler. These guys are scary. That was cool, man. That was really, really neat. Thanks again. size of this guy. Holy smokes. <laughs> oh, those guys look really good right now. <laughs> it's cool looking. Oh, this guy's really scary. Big old teeth. heading down and going to the exit that was really fun what a great spot too he really utilized the whole space here We're kind of rocketing back into the regular time All right exit to the gift shop oh that's way cool how Neat is that. 
<laughs> nice. Oh, the A to Z uh, zoos at his, I believe at his house or something like that. Oh, it is. It's the front of his house. Good call. That's cool. Mike kind of got his start here in Portland making these in his garage and kind of just being so nice, kind of bringing them around town and showing folks his work and then started kind of doing the slow down signs and a bunch of other work. So he's all over Portland, just a talent, very talented cartoonist. I absolutely love all his work and I'm happy to, oh, look at that guy. <laughs> nice. I'm happy to find the gift shop because I want to purchase something and really help support him and also get me a really cool pin of some sort. Oh, here's all of his merch too. Very cool. I haven't seen this guy around town though. That's a good one. <laughs> nice, he's got a ton of different little merch items you can pick up and really help support his cartooning. And a lot of these little guys I've never seen before so <laughs> it's definitely really cool to be here. I am so happy that I came down here. And I think I'm going to pick up one of these pins. I've got quite the pin collection lately. So I think I'm going to... Ooh, I like this octopus one. That is really cool. Kind of reminds me of the old Greek cuisine octopus. I think I'm going to pick up this Bigfoot uh, pin here. Just because it's one of the very first... Uh, little cartoons that I saw of his was actually the Bigfoot, but like I said, it is a win-win. But I think I'm gonna go ahead and pick up the Bigfoot pin. He's even got the little ones here too. You can get <laughs> nice. And uh, I am stoked too because I was able to catch one of the enamel pins. So it's definitely a good day. A lot of fun stuff, and it was fun running into Marie. So the button looks good, I have to say, and it's a double button, so it doesn't get lost easy. And not only was this, I knew it was gonna be good, but it was way better than I expected. And you were telling me on Instagram, he's been posting about a new thing he's doing soon. Oh, it's gonna be in October. I think it said the 15th of October. It's gonna be fantasy, like D&D style. Another one similar to this in St. John's at the old Bank of America building. Nice. And, <laughs> it's gonna be and awesome. that sounds way cool. And she also said they're doing a Halloween thing. So that might be incorporated. That might be the same. Exactly. I had fun though. Thanks again for joining me. Heck yeah. Or you joining me or me joining you, however it works. Yeah. Go check out her channel too. <laughs> oh, thanks. Plug it. Hi guys. What is your channel? Sorry, oh, <laughs> I was a little close. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, hilarious. It's just Marie Winton. Cool. I call it Random Life Adventures because I do a variety of things, something for everybody. You can find her in the comments too. Love you guys. Bye. Creeper out for now. Peace.